Hi, and welcome to Sail Navigation Shortcuts, where at the end of this, you'll save yourself a ton of time when you're navigating through Excel. You can click here and download the example workbook and follow along. First off, we'll start with moving around. So Control plus the arrow key jumps you to the last cell that isn't empty in a data range. What will happen if I press Control and down? Let's have a look. As expected, we jump to this cell here because there's a gap here in the data. So this is the last non-empty cell for it to connect to. And what's gonna happen if I do control and right arrow key now? Have a guess? You're right, we're gonna end up in this cell because there's a gap here. Now if we hold shift in the arrow key, it selects a cell. So if I press up, there we go, it's selected two cells now. Now if I hold down the shift key and keep doing this, I can increase the range of my selection. Okay, so now let's combine these two. I'll just quickly clear up the data so it's one continuous file. We'll start up here. So now if I press Control and Shift and hold them down, press right and then down, we've now selected all of the data very quickly. So that's kind of cool, but why should you care? The best way to demonstrate this is with a race. The goal is to select all 100,000 rows of data as quickly as possible. One with a shortcut, one without the shortcut. We'll give the without a shortcut a bit of a head start. So all we can do without any shortcuts is to manually just select the cells and drag. And drag and drag and drag and drag and drag. Now let's try with the shortcut. So all we do is control shift right, down, and we're done. In about a second. Um, okay, we better speed up the without shortcut to see how long it actually took. So the final time for without the shortcut way was 2 minutes and 37 seconds. And there you go. You've mastered cell navigation within Excel. With a few simple button presses, you can now save yourself a ton of time. And the next time you see someone manually drag to select a whole giant table, stop them and show them this video. And while you're at it, subscribe to this channel yourself to see more tutorials like this, which will save you a lot of time in the long run. Like doing that dollar sign thing in Excel. Or this beginner's tutorial guide on VLOOKUPs to save yourself a lot of time matching cell values from one table to another. And these tutorials are meant for you, so if you're stuck on a certain topic in Excel, or you're just trying to achieve something but you can't figure out how to do it, go to this link, fill in the form, and that's the best way to inform future episodes of these tutorials.